Let's not forget, let's not forget, Israel has made it a point to bomb all mental health facilities in Gaza. Children outside of Gaza, all over the world, and specifically here in Rhode Island, experience insecurity, nightmares, and anxiety. They are witness to the constant trauma their brothers and sisters are undergoing in Gaza. They too are filled with anxiety, though not nearly at the same scale as the children in Gaza, but, but definitely significant enough to mention. Too many to count have begun to experience secondary trauma, the effects of indirect exposure to trauma. The symptoms of secondary trauma include intrusive thoughts, of upsetting and unwanted thoughts or images, sleep disturbances, and physical signs such as nausea, nausea or headaches or aches, and suicidal ideation. These young children are forced to ask themselves questions they should never have to ask themselves. They question their identity, self-worth, and their sense of self. The global reparations include increased Islamophobia and hate crimes in schools, playgrounds, and workplaces. And if this is not resolved on a global scale, okay. it will never be resolved on a local scale. Shame! Leading to everlasting repercussions on generational mental health, which will impact society, the economy, and the well-being of the larger community. The culture of Islam is like a body. When an arm is injured or hurting, the whole body feels that pain. Right. We, call, we call on you, O oh, elected officials. Save the children, save humanity. We demand a permanent ceasefire now. Thank you. Um, my name is Jude, I'm a Palestinian Muslim, and inshallah today, I'm also one of your MCs, <laughs> and inshallah today, I would like to talk about Ramadan for the Palestinians. Ramadan is a holy month for Muslims where we fast from sunrise to sunset every day for a month. Breaking your fast is one of the best feelings ever. After 13 long hours of fasting, you go to the dining table and see all the food right in front of you, steaming hot. Then, the call for prayer, the call for prayer finally goes off and everyone grabs a date and a water bottle. After they drink water, they grab their plate to put some of the delicious steaming hot food that was on the table. Now imagine the feeling after you fasted all day for about 13 hours you finally go to eat, but then discover there is no food or water to break your fast. Shame! 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 Just the other day, there was a little boy whose name is Yezan. This boy was 10 years old when he was killed from starvation. This is just one of the thousands of children who die this way every single day. Shame! Shame! This is unacceptable. People are out there enjoying their life when the children in Gaza are dying. I'm sorry to break it to you, but your life is not more important than those little children who have nothing to eat or drink. That's right! Yeah. Or, or the mothers who are grieving their dead children but are still saying, Alhamdulillah, thank God. That's right! Enough is enough. enough Gaza is must enough. have food and water. Gaza must have food and water! Zionists, stop the slaughter. Gaza must have food and water. Gaza must have food and water. Zionists stop the slaughter. Zionists stop the slaughter. Um, thank you very much. Now I would like to introduce Anaya. Anaya is a youth organizer of the Student Union and is Come back. She can do this. 
Um, and I have to see my And today I'm going to be reading a poem by Hadar Al-Ghazali, who is an 18-year-old young man who's been suffering from diabetes for nine consecutive years. And the reason for his condition is the war on Gaza that started in 2014. He has been exposed to deliberate hunger and cycles of violence. Shame! The occupation... Shame! 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 The occupation has prevented Hadar from being able to access his insulin. He has a GoFundMe on his Instagram where people are able to make financial contributions to help him and his family during this difficult time. So, I can give anyone more information about that afterwards and even pass around a link or two if anyone wants to help make by making any financial contributions to their GoFundMe. So now I'm going to read the poem. We are lovers. No one held, not even a grave to hold us. When you understand me, my poems will be a fire in your chest. All have gone. My heart was not mature enough to grow up suddenly to the fire of shells. A bird bearing a planet on its wings. My heart was not enough to bear all of this. I am tired, tired like I am made of screams. Thank you. Um, okay, now please listen, the band is going to play a song now.
access the fire to open the altar. Katarina. <laughs> Have everyone gather for a moment. And it's the energy in the space, y'all. Right? We chose to alter the whole space with us today because, in so many of our cultures, it means such a holy space. It is sacred space. And we wanted to hold the space for the children who are too young to be our ancestors, who are too young to be our angels. We are asking for the children of Palestine, the children of Congo, the children of Haiti to be held in this space with us today. Our people are being punished because they live and they are beautiful. We ask today that you join us in this altar. The children have already started the space. You see, it's, the beauty has already begun. Their presence is with us. All of the children that are here today, if you haven't had an opportunity to place something on the altar, there's flowers going around, there's birds going around. And we ask you to please add something so the Children's Museum understands that we are here. Children's museums were created out of the space of making sure our children have what they needed to learn, to grow, and to be vibrant. They were not started to receive money from the weapons, to receive money because of weapons. I worked in the first children's museum in the country, in Boston. And we never stood for that. We ask you right now, this is for the children. This is for the children. This is for the children. We love the children of Palestine, those who are with us, because we celebrate them, we hold them, we pray for them. We're going to ask people to hold a moment of silence for those who are with us and for those who we have lost. So if we can just hold a moment of silence. In the name of freedom, liberation, and justice. Free Palestine. Free Palestine! I would like to welcome Monique, who is a senior at Brown and a founding member of Jews for Ceasefire Now. Let me do this. Is this good? I'll see, okay. Um, thank you all for being here today. Once again, my name is Monique. I use they, them pronouns. I'm a senior at Brown University, and I'm one of the students who founded our contingent of Jews for Ceasefire Now, um, an organization that we started in order to keep our university, which already takes so much from the Providence community, accountable for the role that they have in supporting um, genocide that's ongoing. Um, so I'm here today to share some songs with you. Are, are you guys down to sing with me? Yes! Okay. So we're going to start with Yama Molil Hawa. This is a song from Palestine. Um, you will catch on very quickly, but I'll sing a line, and then you sing a line, and then I sing a line, you sing a line, and then we sing together. Okay, it starts. Yama Molil Hawa. Yama Molil 
sing together. Um, this song is all about ancestry and understanding ancestry um, and family and understanding the importance of that in our lives. Me personally, I'm going to call in some ancestors to sing this with me. I'm going to call in ancestors from my mother's side from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Those are my people. I'm calling them in. I'm calling in ancestors from my father's side who are Jewish, who've been here, who've been doing radical work for a long time. So I'm going to do another call and response. This one has a round, so I'm going to split you guys in the middle. It's going to be fun and be creative. Okay. I hear the voice of my ancestors calling. I hear the voice of my ancestors calling. I hear the voice of my ancestors' song. I hear the voice of my ancestors' song. Again. I hear the voice of my ancestors calling. I hear the voice of my ancestors song, singing, wake up, wake up, child, wake up, wake up, listen, 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 listen. Singing, wake up, wake up, child, wake up, wake up, listen, 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 listen. From the top. I hear the voice of my ancestors calling. I hear the voice of my ancestors' song. I hear the voice of my ancestors calling. I hear the voice of my ancestors' song. Singing, wake up, wake up, child, wake up, wake up, listen, 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 listen. Singing, wake up, wake up, child, wake up, wake up, listen, listen. Okay, we're just sing fun. So y'all are gonna start with I hear the voice. Y'all are gonna do wake up, wake up. All right? Ready? Okay. So it's gonna start. I hear the singing, wake up. Okay. I hear the voice of my ancestors calling. I hear the voice of my ancestors song. I hear the voice of my ancestors calling. I hear the voice of my keep going. Singing, wake up, wake up, child, wake up, wake up, listen, listen. Singing, wake up, wake up, child, wake up, wake up, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Singing, wake up, wake up, child, wake up, wake up, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Singing, wake up, wake up, child. I 
I hear the voice of my ancestors calling. I hear the voice of my ancestors song. I hear the voice of my ancestors calling. I hear the voice of my ancestors song. Singing, wake up, wake up, child. Wake up, wake up, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Singing, wake up, wake up, child. Wake up, wake up, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Last time all together. Thank you very much, Moni. We really appreciate it. Um, there is a Depke class at 3 o'clock on Mint and Av. And um, if you would like to learn Palestinian Depke, you should go there. And there's, just a reminder that there's a table full of art stuff over here. Um, your children can grab um, a color sheet so they can color and they can take it home. Just none of the supplies, but like, they can color. <laughs> 